Hello guys, welcome back in uh, to um, in my series of videos. Uh, this with in this video we are going to talk about objects. Uh, what is an object? How to create an object and read the properties inside it. Dot notation, bracket notation, update the object and the disk keyword. Everything will be very simple. Maybe the disk keyword is a little confusing, but very simple and and uh, very simple stuff. Don't worry. Okay, first, what is an object? An object is a collection of elements that are related to each other. This is the definition, the basic definition that probably in uh, every um, in every documentation we will find. So um, let's start defining an object. So we are defining, in this case, we are defining uh, a person. Uh, now let's define. Uh, uh, and let's define a person. The const person. Uh, an object is defined with curl inside curly braces. Uh, a person. Uh, the, the value, the, the values, the elements of the object are defined in key value, key value pairs. So first there is the, uh, the key, which is name, and then there is the value of the key which in this case is, I don't know, uh, okay, sorry, I forgot that uh, I have to place an uh, equal sign here, and we can move on, uh, surname, our person definitely has a surname, Uh, as an age, I should use this. Let's use this uh, as an age of uh, an age that has is a number, even better for uh, further explanation. Then uh, uh, our person has uh, uh, ho hobbies. Uh, and in this case, uh, it is a list of uh, sports because uh, he only do sports in his life. Uh, no, he does something else also, but mostly he plays basketball and uh, and tennis and uh, and watch television. Okay. I, I highlight the fact that inside a, a cons, a, an element, a, an object, we use comma, not semicolon. Then this person has an address, uh, personal information, personal info, uh, which is uh, an object in itself. It's just to show that uh, there can be an asset object and that this this is an address uh, of uh, uh, evergreen terrace and then uh, there is uh, a cap of um, And it might cause troubles, so let's just place it as a string. Then it has a uh, fiscal code. Uh, <laughs> let's place something else. Uh, fiscal code, telephone number. You can see that every time that I have a variable, anyway, even if it's the telephone number, nothing that uh, really special. If I have a variable uh, um, that is, uh, I hope this is not the phone number of someone, definitely hope so. Uh, that if I have a variable that uh, has more num more uh, more words, uh, I always use comma case, even if it's meaningless, if it's just uh, the, the, the the element inside the, the object, inside the object, inside the object is for, um, 
is to be ordered and consistent. Okay, anyway, I created this object uh, which has uh, a name, a surname, an age, an hobby, and personal information. Definitely is a person, and a person doesn't, uh, doesn't have a square footage like a house, uh, but uh, has this kind of properties. So another object would be a house and has different, uh, different key and value, of course. Okay, but now let's uh, just... Uh, uh, move on since we created the object let's see how to read the properties so to um, to read the properties of uh, uh, an object you just need to for example console.log um, person punto name now we can Open. And it's showing Gianmarco. Now let's just uh, uh, have a brief view. It can show the age. And here it shows 25. It can show hobby. And then if you are, if it's an array. Of course, you need to specify the index. For example, I want to uh, to get uh, <coughs> basket. So now it's one. Of course, for the same story as always, that index of array start from zero, uh, basket. If you want uh, to uh, to get the to get the personal information, uh, if you want to get uh, an, ob uh, uh, an object inside an object, blah, blah, blah. personal info dot address address. Okay, control save. No, I closed it. Open with i server. Evergreen Terrace. Okay, um, uh, one thing I I forgot that we I forgot to say to before to to use methods. Anyway, um, a person can uh, can uh, have methods can uh, can perform actions. So a person can uh, can. Uh, can say, can talk, a person do talk, and uh, uh, sorry, it's uh, talk double uh, colon uh, function, and um, opening square brackets. And the console log. And here it's saying that it is a mistake because we need a comma. Okay, console.log. Uh, hello. Okay, so a person can have uh, can have uh, also methods related to him. And in this case, we give him uh, the since a person can speak. Uh, we gave him a method that is a function that console log hello. And this function can get accessed in a slightly different way. We delete this console log because we don't need console log anything. Oops, because this is a function. So we just call it person.talk. Opening, closing. I close the, the, the live server again. And if we come here, we have called the function. So it's saying hello. Okay, now I don't close it. Uh, what uh, what we, we, we said, uh, we did uh, already, no? That um, we can, of course, uh, for, exa for example, we have Gianmarco and we use the function like function dot name dot to 
to uppercase and this function you know what it does and uh, we are doing the same thing this is what uh, is uh, is a built-in function so it's a function that the javascript gave to us because otherwise it, it will be impractable to to write this is a custom function that uh, a function that we have created ourselves blah 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 okay uh, etc etc uh, let's just move on dot notation and bracket notation so since now we used the dot notation but there is another way to call uh, whatever you want so since now we have we were using let's return to to write console.log so it's not that uh, because methods are maybe a little particular dot dot name and this, you know, it console.log Gianmarco. We can even console.log, console.log um, person, square bracket, the, the key, and we use then the key of uh, the, we use the key of, uh, of the object. Uh, okay, then this will look for. Let's go and see. It should console.log Gianmarco. And it's console.log Gianmarco. And uh, okay. Uh, so, um, other examples can be just to, to show the complicated uh, examples, it can be hobby. Then uh, since it's an array, if we now we just save and come, it will show the whole array. So we have to come here, and uh, pretty obviously we need to define, decide which uh, index to choose. Um, or uh, if uh, you define it, the user um, personal info, uh, then here you have to use uh, address Evergreen address. okay good uh, the point is uh, why should I use uh, this instead of the other one uh, there are there are, there are some possibility where uh, where uh, using this uh, um, is useful uh, for example uh, when uh, for example in many websites uh, a, a kind of object like this might be related to a user account and in its private area the user uh, might uh, might want to uh, to change its name uh, to change its name and uh, you have to dynamically uh, change the the value of one key and it's not that easy and this uh, is a, a good way to is a good uh, tool to to make it possible uh, for example in for example uh, if we, if i declare a, a variable called key one i call it key one because key is not a, a really good um, name and then i call i um, the key uh, the, the key value is uh, age okay so now if i come here and i console.log.key1 now the what is doing it says undefined it's undefined because uh, uh, in the dot notation um, key1 is searching for a key value that is inside our object. So he's searching the key one here. If there was a key one here, uh, it would uh, definitely uh, log uh, its value. But here in this case, the key one is, uh, is outside, but is referring to age, okay? So in this case, you cannot use the dot notation, uh, but the bracket notation will work. So we can come here, we can place the bracket notation, save, and if you will see it, it will, it will log 25. Uh, there is a uncut. Ah, there is a, I left the dot. 
Um, okay, 25. So uh, in some cases, as I said, uh, this, uh, this kind of notation can be useful. Um, so uh, how to update an object? Uh, updating an object is the very, very simple, the most simple thing we have seen. Uh, we, can we can just uh, um, come here and uh, we say person dot um, surname, surname um, equal to, and we give it another, another value. Right? Now is guardia, and uh, now is say, we're saying. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so now we come here, and uh, I just um, I just use uh, dot surname. I save, and it's writing Cantadori. Um, same. Um, Okay, we can we can uh, change the value of, for example, um, we come here and we say uh, person dot hobby, and uh, the first element is not basket anymore, but is swimming. And you come here, a hobby is. Swimming. Okay, uh, one thing that someone might ask is, is excuse me, but uh, um, excuse me, prof, but um, since uh, const uh, the object is a constant, why can you go to exchange uh, values? Uh, the point is that the values of the keys are not. Uh, um, are not uh, uh, the the object itself, they are something different. In fact, if I come here now and I and I uh, say that person uh, is uh, an empty an empty object, I save, I go. It says an error. No, now it's saying an error because I'm, I'm expected to open. Uh, because uh, I, I didn't put this. Um, okay, assignment to constant variable. Same if uh, I, I say that this is a number or a string, if I write the string instead of uh, the object. You cannot because anything you, can, you can't do because this is a constant, you can't change the constant value, but you can change the value of the things that are inside the constant, because actually they are not inside the constant, they are related to the constant. Anyway, you understood what I mean? Another thing you can do is that you can, uh, you can really create uh, another, a total different, another uh, key value pair. Uh, so now you can say person dot uh, uh, I don't know location person dot location equal to Denmark. Okay. Okay. I save uh, and now I just console log the person console log the whole object, save, let's see, and now let's open, um, there is a, a location here of Denmark, and I don't know why it's here and not here or there some other places, maybe it's just uh, uh, that um, it's um, a bit, probably is because uh, it comes from A to Z, but anyway, okay, you understand that uh, we can manipulate uh, objects uh, from outside, from outside it, which can be useful because if you, for example, you work uh, inside a society and this society doesn't allow, you are working with code that you can't allow the 
directly that you can't access directly then you change this code uh, from outside is something that happens usually so normal if you if you have the access to the code uh, from inside you just write uh, here uh, location no but if you cannot uh, you can't access the the, uh, the the object in itself because it's somewhere else then you just uh, you you just uh, I don't know add add what you want through a different manner and um, and that's it. Then there are a lot of uh, a lot of of this kind of uh, things uh, in uh, in computer programming in general. Anyway, uh, now let's talk about the this keyword. To talk about this uh, before I want I actually need to make a change and uh, it's even something that I didn't, I didn't, we didn't see but uh, because it's obvious but uh, um, we can of course uh, come here and uh, I put Batik sorry it's uh, it uh, changed the screen um, place uh, and uh, okay sorry it's a trauma uh, anyway um, we have seen how we can use template literals uh, to, um, to, to make uh, some uh, cool things. For example, here I can do, I can concatenate uh, hello I am and dynamically change, change it. And uh, I want to say hello I am Gianmarco because he's talking. So hello I am person dot name. Let's see, let's see the result. Uh, uh, excuse me, I, I did this, but now I need to write, uh, uh, of course, uh, I need to, to call the function, um, which is uh, person.talk, person.talk. Uh, Hello, I am Gianmarco. Uh, okay. Um, so, uh, what is the this keyword? We can place uh, this here. This keyword, and still the code won't break, but it will say the same. Hello, I am Gianmarco. You can come here and you say, if you wanted to say, hello, I am. This that's your name. Hello, I am Guardia. Hello, I am Guardia. Uh, so um, this is it. This is is saying um, uh, I am what I'm related to. No, so this is uh, since talk. It's inside the instance of person. This is person. So uh, I'm I'm placing uh, this keyword inside person. So I will uh, I will refer to what since I want this value since I want this value I want the value of this surname okay um, it uh, it's not that it I mean it's simple to understand what I said the, to understand why I should use this and not person. Yes, that's a good question for now, but we will see that we will uh, we will face uh, this uh, a lot, a lot of times uh, for many things uh, because uh, there can be person, but there can be another person. There can be Luca here, and there can be Giorgio, which are two persons that are similar, no? but they are uh, two different objects that share the common properties. And so this keyword will be used uh, to to do many many things, and uh, I'm, I don't I just don't uh, go more into details because uh, this is what uh, I wanted to show uh, since now. Uh, okay, so uh, this is it for this lesson about object. Uh, I hope uh, it everything was clear. Uh, we are moving on. So keep watching. Thank you very much and see you again.